Top Performance Mustang Syndrome, or TPMS, is a condition affecting hundreds of thousands of Ford Mustang owners. TPMS renders the car owner incapable of accepting that their vehicle is complete and that no further modifications are necessary. TPMS affects otherwise healthy, responsible adults. It can affect their perception that their powertrain, suspension, body, or interior somehow needs additional work. Please help us win the fight against TPMS. Tell a Mustang owner today that their car is perfect just the way it is. Hi, I'm Mike and my channel is Mike Fixed It. In my last video, I swapped the wheels on my 2019 Mustang GT convertible. Everything went great except for the activation of the Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS. I was advised that they were not able to reset the tire uh, pressure sensors on the new wheels but I just ordered a gauge online that lets you reset these uh, pressure sensors yourself. So it looks like a little uh, key fob, a little garage door opener thingy, and uh, it allows you to put the car into learning mode and then go around and blip all of the pressure sensors on the wheels and actually train the car as to uh, what the new sensors are so that should reset the problem. So I look forward to that coming. I'm gonna go check the mail when I get home. Maybe it's there. My TPMS reset tool arrived a few days later. It's here, it's here. What is that? There it is. This is the TPMS training tool, instructions and manual. Before digging too deeply into TPMS, I need to tell you that while filming the next segment about the history of TPMS and how the programming tool works, my TPMS sensors on the car started working apparently all by themselves. I can't say with certainty which year Mustangs can reset the TPMS themselves, but my research leads me to believe that the 2018 and the 2019 Mustangs can. We'll test this theory again in a couple of weeks when I change over to my summer tires, and I will report back in another video. So for right now, sit back and enjoy the rest of the story. In the early 2000s, the U.S. enacted the Transportation Recall Enhancement Accountability and Documentation Act, or TRED. This was enacted because of the data showing that accidents were being caused by people driving cars with underinflated tires. So now most vehicles sold in the United States 2007 and forward are equipped with TPMS or the Tire Pressure Monitoring System. There are two types of TPMS systems, indirect and direct. Indirect uses the speed sensors that is used by most ABS systems. When the car's computer sees that the speed for any one wheel is higher than the speed for the other wheels, it assumes that the pressure is low in that tire. The reason for this is that a tire with less pressure is going to be physically smaller. A smaller tire will rotate at a higher speed. So if the computer senses that one of the wheels is turning at a faster rate than the other, it will put on that warning light on the dash that says to check your tire pressure. In the Mustang, we have direct TPMS. In each of the wheels, there's a sensor with a battery that is constantly transmitting a serial number to the car's uh, management computer. I have to interject again because I learned more about the TPMS system after filming that segment. I was not correct. The TPMS sensors are not constantly transmitting data. When the car is not moving, they are not sending pressure information. Once the wheels start turning and they reach a speed of about 20 miles an hour, then the TPMS sensors start sending pressure information about once every 60 seconds. Once they're activated and the car comes to a stop, 
Then the TPMS sensors continue sending out that pressure information for about 30 minutes. After that time, the sensors shut down, they go into a sleep mode to conserve battery. When I picked up the car at the service center, it simply hadn't been driven enough to retrain the computer. So even if the car is self-learning, the wheel sensors never reach the speed they needed to start transmitting the data. Now, if your car does not have a self-learning TPMS system, or if you just want to reset the TPMS system manually, this is how you do it. So you have to tell the computer which serial number from which sensor to look for, and then assign it to which respective wheel it belongs to, left, right, front, and back. We're going to accomplish this with a little tool like this one. This is a TPMS programming transmitter. Here's how it works. Here is how you put the car in learning mode. Tap the brake once, and we're going to turn this on three times. On, off, on, off, and on, and we're going to leave it on. We're going to tap the brake one more time, and then repeat the sequence. Off, on, off, on, off, one more time. And when the car beeps, the car will be in learning mode. We are going to hold the transmitter at the base of the valve stem. And we're going to hold this down for up to 10 seconds. And when it beeps, you're supposed to move on to the next wheel. You're supposed to go front driver, front passenger, we're holding down the button. When it beeps, you move on to the next wheel. Rear passenger. And to complete the sequence, rear driver side. And there we go, that's four. Well, hey, would you look at that? Seems like it took a little bit of time to uh, settle in, but now that the tires are warmed up, lo and behold, it's actually showing the same tire pressure for each tire. That concludes this video on TPMS. I will be posting another video very soon saying whether or not these cars can self-train themselves. If you've already subscribed, thank you. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you won't miss that video. My name is Mike, the channel is Mike Fixed It. Be good, be well, be safe, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye. I fixed it. Top Performance Mustang Syndrome. Total Power Motorsport Science. Torque Propulsion Mechanical Speed. Transmission Position Muscle Solution Totally Phallic Monster Spoiler